Then I'm just going to take the uh, bull shad with my clickbait minnow, and that's going to be it for me. Look at this. Look how cool this is. I look like a fishing warrior out there with the sling. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's give you all a little context of what's going on today. High, very high southeast winds coming in out of this direction and going to blow across. So what we want to do is find an eastern bank. Okay, we got our game plan together. Let's get the skiff loaded down, get the truck loaded, and uh, we'll get started. So right now, the taco truck we were talking about is open. We got them before they closed. And uh, we gotta wait five minutes while they're home cooking our food. So today we're doing, not necessarily a challenge, but we are gonna do a challenge it soon. Is, is it, it is a, a challenge? challenge? Are we doing that right now? Is yeah, it a challenge? that's today. So what, what Christian's trying to talk to y'all about is, y'all already know that we somewhat got a challenge going on with the Paul Brown Corky versus the uh, Mike Buka Baby Bull Shad, this one right here. And today, we're gonna force ourselves to use these two lures. So Christian cannot start using his other setup until he catches a fish off the Corky. I cannot use another setup until I catch something off of the baby bullshit. So what I thought was going on was that this was just on training because I really don't have a lot of experience with the Corkies. I don't think it could be too tough. I watched like a couple YouTube videos on how to work them. Um, it seems pretty simple. So hopefully I figure it out and uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rig this up. I've got now we're going to eat these tacos and meet you guys out on the water. about to get into some fishing we're gonna fish the mouth really fast before actually going in see if there's any specs out here I gotta also record the weather conditions which uh, which corky do you want son the small guy the original yeah I'm gonna test the waters with it the... there we go Mike Buka's bull shed the baby bull shed not the bull shed the actual one I'm waiting for it to drop and hopefully it's gonna drop I don't know. Our first time fishing this right here. I'm just waiting to see who gets their bite first. My prediction is the Paul Brown. <laughs> That's a bold statement. I've got the... Coming from something that has zero action. I've got the power of Texas behind me. Where's Mike Buka from? I have no earthly idea. I don't even know who Mike Buka is. You said it's like two feet? Nope, 1.4 now. Jeez. So is it just getting shallower and shallower as we go? Yeah. I thought I was supposed to get deeper. I'm gonna look at Google Maps and see what the is up with the depth here. It does look like it gets deeper right up here when it goes into this cut. Like how much further? Uh, yeah, pretty decent way. I just saw, I don't know if that's bait at the surface. Where? I saw something like a disturbance. Oh, yeah, there's a disturbance over there. Where is that? Right in front of us. Where are you right casted? There. Yeah. God, my left hand is like ballpark, but it's, it's not perfect. Just bait, We're going to switch spots, ladies and gentlemen. This did not, I mean, it looks promising for maybe some warmer weather for reds and stuff like that, but for right now, the sake of what we're trying to accomplish today, no. Man, talk about a wet ride. It was really just that one splash. That it was good. just because the, the water chop it can handle fine. It's the big swells that you cannot handle. And that's not the big swells, like the tall ones, but the long gradual swells.
Let's go. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Paul Brown, boys. Paul Brown. Team Paul. If you guys need a sponsor. Oh, this is a nice trout, too. Come here. Come here. Where is it, dude? Fudge. God, I feel like a freaking retard trying to get this. Let's go, guys. First fish. What do you Christian guess? It's on the Paul Brown. With the Paul Brown. All right, and I've seen your comments, guys. We don't want to get this guy slime, so not netting him, not grabbing him with my hands. We're just going to get him with the boga. Quickly release him, show him off to you guys. I'm going to touch him. I'm going to wet my hands. I'm going to touch his tail dish to get y'all a good angle because that's what it's about after all. All right, buddy. Hey, 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 you realize you got hooks hanging around you, right? Awesome. I was just doubting this Paul Brown, too. I was literally just talking crap about him, but what do you know? I guess he heard me. If you're watching this, Mr. Paul, I believe in you now. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this. Keep nice fish, keeper son. trout. Yeah. Hey, actually... Let's keep him. Let's do a, uh, we're going to turn you into shrimp and cream treat or shrimp. We're going to keep this guy and turn him into some dumplings or wontons. So I'm sorry, Mr. Speckled Trout. You bit the wrong lure today. Um, yes, there's slime on my hands, but not that much. All right. Make sure he's 15. Easy. Yeah. Money on that one. 16 and three quarters. Here. I'm just gonna get a picture of the stringer at the end. The dumplings, it's Rangoons. There goes Rangoons right there. We'll just call him Rango. And uh, he's coming home with us. We'll have to bleed him later. Well, but awesome. your other rod. Paul Brown. No, I'm gonna keep using that one. That's cool. Uh, all right, you guys, struggles of, oh, I see. Oh, it's grass or something. That is rope. So. Hey, whoever dropped this in here, if you're watching this, you're a major D bag. Oh, God, it's like anchored to the bottom. There's nothing that I can do. Holy moly, man. The challenge is still on. I think I'm satisfied with beer. I, I don't like the the fact that we're not close by the the mound of land that is right there that separates the intercoastal from the bay. There's a mound of land that's usually always there in every part of the intercoastal. And you don't we're nowhere near that, so the wind is really getting us. Yeah. So you wanna pull up and head out? Yeah, we'll we'll go to another nearby bayou y'all can hear that wind if the mic's doing its job it shouldn't but it is windy and that was probably what do you think that was the choppiest water we've been through yet yes. on the skiff i mean for real there were moments when i saw some of those swells i was like this is it <laughs> this is the one i'm about to get soaked i'm about to fall in the water and it just diced right through the chop so this thing can handle some serious water chop what do you think it's like 20 mile per hour wind 22 well, they're about 17 sustained, and then the gusts are a little bit higher than that. It's real windy, and and the skiff just handled it like a dream. I was really surprised. Hey, we are wet. Don't get us wrong. I'm not wet. Look. I'm, well, my, my pant legs are kind of wet down at the bottom, but that could be from earlier. I'm freaking dry, and that was, that was crazy. I'm going to spotlight this, okay? Okay. There we are. Oh, he's a little guy, son. Oh gosh. He really got stuck by the treble hook. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There you go. Now I think you hooked yourself on the other. Whoa, bro, whoa, dude, come on now. There you go. I wonder how he got. Oh, it's like a little. It felt like a short bite. I don't know what tiny trout is biting this though. Got him. 
That's you're you're getting the fish that are biting short biting me. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> That's not a. Sh he's not a little guy. He's uh, probably 14, 13, 14, something like that. To the bottom, like six, seven seconds, something like that. Well, he got bamboozled twice. Like both the hooks. All right, team Corkies. We're gonna have to step it up a notch. We're we're behind by one against the Mike Buka. I don't like the way that looks. All right. We'll see you later, buddy. There we go, baby. This is a nice trout. Two. Was he's yours a keeper? Size. Do you want to keep a keeper or no? No, he's the same size. Oh god, I got him good. Oh god. Got him in the gill plate. Jeez. Hey, hey, hey. That Snack counts. fish don't count. That counts. He was going for it. It counts. Awesome, fellas. Tied up at two fish a pop. Uh, let's get this done. Wow, easy. That was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. Homie, sorry. Awesome looking fellow, man. Little guys. <laughs> oh, got him on the drop. It's not coming up yet. Oh, he's snagged, son. Poor fella. Well, since you counted yours snagged, I'm gonna count mine. Yeah, but mine is by his mouth. <laughs> no, <laughs> whatever. Let's get you back inside the water, Mr. Dinker. So, what is that, three for me, huh? Three, 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 three. <laughs> yeah. I think one should probably catch a fish. If he's there, he's gonna bite this thing. What'd I say? What'd I say? If he's there, he's biting this thing. Y'all heard me say it, YouTube. Oh, he's nice. Oh, he's nice. Oh, he's really nice. Hope he's a keeper. Mm. You mean kill the motor? Uh, oh. oh! Oh my god. No. Thank goodness I didn't kill the motor. Yeah. Dang. Y'all want to know what a freaking broke down boy looks like? <laughs> that that kind of counts. No, he bit it. it he bit it. Count. He bit it. Hit the little loop button. I did. Then it should show you time. I didn't. No, that's not it. Hit the button down there. The little loop button. Oh, oh got him. No, he's a little guy. Oh my gosh. Well, I would have caught that fish with my girlfriend when I messed up. I know it. This little dude is tiny. I'm now. Nothing but little tiny guys. All right, all right, all right. There you go. We took the weight off of your mouth. This is number five, son. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Three. Are you kidding me? Gosh, I, I do not like trebles. Probably just because I got, like, hooked by them one too many times. There he goes. I'm gonna keep racking up the total. I'm, I caught three fish and I'm still learning how to use this thing. What are you talking about? I don't even know how to use this. I just barely started using this thing. Whatever. <laughs> what? I bet you used to use Mike Lucas all the time. Uh, yeah, like I know. Yeah, me and Mike go all the way back. 
I don't know. I have the slightest idea. Like, there's probably bass fishermen cringing at the way I'm working this thing. Looks like a somewhat eddy right over there. Hey, <laughs> I was gonna cast right there. If you catch a fish, that's like, that's half for me. No way. Yeah, because you didn't even, you wasn't gonna cast over there. You yeah. The drain? I saw, I saw what was going on and I thought that looks good. <laughs> That was a small guy, but still. You could probably spot lock right here. We'll wait for our forward motion to stop, and then we'll hit the spot lock. What the? Forget it's crazy shallow until we get to the the bend. Good job. Yes, sir. Man, good job. Oh yeah. There you go. Watch your eye, buddy. Told you that pro cure would do it. <laughs> People are gonna be crying because you threw pro cure on a corky. Yep. They're gonna be crying because they're not catching fish like me. <laughs> ah. So you guys, there's something you learn new every day. Uh. If you're not getting bites on your Paul Brown and your Corkies, I didn't see no other YouTubers talking about it, but you can throw Pro Cure on there. It sticks to the back perfectly fine. And, and you catch yourself. On the you catch yourself one of these bad boys. <laughs> catch some gap top too if you Keep going, going buddy. There we go. Keeper? It's a keeper, huh? Maybe. I have to, I have to measure him. Uh, yeah, he does look like one, but he's one of those ones that's pretty close, if so. Yeah, 15 and a half. Well, let me get that a little bit closer. Yeah, 15 and a half with a pinch tail. You want to keep it or no? Up to you, son. Okay. All right, you live today, buddy. Got him, son. Head shakes, so it's got to be a trout. Oh yeah. Just throw him in a net. There we go. Definitely a keeper. Oh my god, we captain insano'd him. This is gonna hurt, buddy. Oh my god, he just ripped he ripped it out of himself. I don't know if he's gonna be a keeper, son. I'm looking at him getting a better look and Ooh god he's so close. I'm have to make sure we lay him down. Though I need you to chill. Close that mouth of yours, buddy. Okay, we got his mouth closed. Oh yeah. That's fifteen and a half, right? Yeah. So he's barely a keeper, and we gonna keep him. We gonna keep him. I think it's kind of early to be able to call or declare a winner between the Corky versus the baby bull shad. Christian, however, wants to say that he has secured the win because he was able to bring in one more keeper than what I was with the bull shad. So being that he's not here to defend himself, he's with his mom at the grocery store purchasing some ingredients for the speckled trout cream cheese rangoon video that we're about to film for our other channel if that's something that you might be interested in then i highly recommend going over there clicking on that subscribe button so that you can catch everything that we do that does not have to do with the act of fishing so anything that we do in the house 
rigging, just anything that we want to talk about. If you're into those vlog style videos, then go over there, check it out. But as I was saying, he's not here to be able to defend himself, so I'm not gonna talk anymore on it. We will keep an ongoing tally until a clear winner is like gonna reveal himself. So whichever one decides to take off, it's too evenly matched right now, as I said. I do know that the Corky can catch mega monster trout we're just wanting to have fun, that's all. Just trying to entertain y'all and entertain ourselves while we're out there on the water and then having fun while we do it. So, nobody, no hard feelings, okay? My gosh, please. All right, so uh, if, you, if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to click the thumbs up button for all of y'all that are interested in the gear that we use. I list it down in the video description below because I get tons of comments and I still get the comments, the questions and stuff like that. I do that for y'all. If you make a purchase, the channel will earn a commission. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That is gonna do it for today. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time, tight lines y'all.